Hello, I am Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is five popular things we just don't get. These are our opinions, and no disrespect is meant if any of these items happen to be something that you love. We just don't get them. Number one, Game of Thrones. What's up with this? I mean, what? I've only seen certain things and heard from most people, but you have more of the detail because you've actually read the book, so... I read the first four books, and for starters, what genre is this book trying to be? We start out relatively medieval, then we have the dragons, so we have fantasy elements. Okay, medieval fantasy, that works. Then we have white walkers. Seriously? You're gonna throw zombies in. And not to mention, there are a million characters. And I was wondering at that at the beginning. And then I realized why there are a million characters. Everybody dies. It's like Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, and then there's the fact that, from what I understand from recent announcements, the TV show is going to start heavily diverting from the source material by the writer, you know, because the author of the books also is the writer for the show. And he's going to start heavily diverting from the books, so the show's going to have a different ending than the books. So people you thought would be safe probably aren't going to be safe now. So he's definitely actually going to be, thanks to the multiverse, kill every single character in the books. Yeah, four books in, I'm pretty sure that almost everyone's going to die anyways. If you have a name, you're going to die. <laughs> uh... It's basically survivor to the death. Mm-hmm. No one is safe, alliances are formed and betrayed, and yeah. And thanks to the shows, we're going to have pretty much, if you are in the story and have a name, you're going to die. Whether it's in the show or in the books, you're going to die somewhere. <laughs> also, these are incredibly graphically violent. Red Wedding, anyone? Anyone who saw it on HBO? The books were worse. I, I swear to you, the books were worse. Number two, Hello Kitty. Yes, I know that's a huge spectrum jump, <laughs> but we don't get it. Even as a young girl, I was not interested. Well, I, I've never really been interested in it, period, and I haven't really noticed how much of a fandom it has, but apparently it has a rather large fandom. I'm thinking it's because she's a cat, even though the company that creates her says, no, she's not a cat. I'm like, what? <laughs> I think she falls right within the realm of cat or cat girl. Just not anywhere strongly either direction. So maybe technically she's not any one of those, but she's definitely some type of cat. Yeah, and yes, this has a huge fandom. People were telling my mother that I was going to love this when I was a little kid. I watch a ton of anime. I watch a ton of girl shows. Hello Kitty and the entire Sanrio line never interested me. And yes, it has a huge fandom. There are Sanrio stores in malls in America. You know, we have to go to Hot Topic to get other animes, but Sanrio gets its own store. I tried watching some Hello Kitty cartoons once. It was a lot like watching Dora the Explorer, so I don't know if that was bad dubbing or it was aged poorly. But I'm sorry, I just don't get it. I'm guessing you found Hamtaro more entertaining. Yes. <laughs> Though I gotta say, I found Hamtaro quite entertaining myself. I even drew fan art of it. Goff. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. The Walking Dead. I don't get it. It's a story about people strictly against a never-ending, oh god, I'm going to die. I guess most people could find it interesting, but I just find it depressing. It, it's like going back to Game of Thrones. Everything's depressing. Everybody dies. If you get attached to a character, he's probably going to die. Yes, I know. Daryl dies, you riot. Okay, I get it. I don't even follow the show, and I know that. But you know they're going to kill him just to mess with you. And I've experienced some of the show. I haven't read any of the comic books the show's based on, and I have played through most of the first game. And I just don't get it, especially when you find out that everyone's infected. It doesn't matter if you get bitten or not. It's just you're infected. Okay. So if you die, you become a zombie no matter what. Okay. So that's really depressing. <laughs> Although there's probably technically some immune people out there, but I haven't heard anything about that from anything. And But these people struggle to live in a world where no matter what, you're going to die. And then probably eat your friends. 
Thank you for that wonderfully uplifting story! <laughs> yeah, because the first part, okay, everyone does die eventually. But, okay, everyone dies in a zombie apocalypse and then comes back and kills their friends because everybody's infected, so nobody's safe. High School of the Dead is more uplifting than this. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't really... Actually, I think I read part of a chapter of High School of the Dead, and then I got busy doing something else. <laughs> Number four. Monster Hunter. Okay, let's take the most boring parts of grinding and turn that into a game. That is what I perceive Monster Hunter as. <laughs> I mean, okay, let's heart the same monster down again and again to harvest parts from his body so he can make better outfits to go out and hunt him again. What? <laughs> and then to get more parts so that we can go hunt again. That sounds suspiciously like level grinding. My least favorite part of every RPG except Bravely Default. I mean, you're not even getting levels, you're just getting parts to make more powerful weapons. So you can go out and kill stuff. Again. And apparently this is thrilling to people. Oh yes, the monster is so hard that you triumph over I'm like, no, I find that extremely boring, because I'm sitting there hitting the same buttons over and over again. And again. And again. And again. I mean, I really don't get it. Especially since most of the Monster Hunter games don't even bother to instruct you that the most important part of this quest you're going on to is to hunt the monsters, to get parts, to get armor. It doesn't even tell you that you have to do stuff before you go out hunting to make it even worthwhile to go out and hunt. I mean, you have to find tutorials online or hope you have friends who play the game. <laughs> well, I, I think that the understanding is everyone who plays Monster Hunter knows people who play Monster Hunter, but that doesn't excuse not telling someone how to play your game. That falls under theming. Go check out Ergo Raptors talk about Mega Man and Sequelitis for theming, because it's awesome. And I think Monster Hunter fails at that. Yes, only in the most recent versions have they added an actual tutorial story mode to teach you the most important basics of how to play the game. And the demos don't even do anything to entice you. I mean, they set you out with tools and stuff and say, go, pick a weapon, have fun, and I'm like, I'm not having fun. I'm supposed to be having fun, right? I'm just going after this monster, hitting it till it dies. Um, uh, the way you do this isn't fun. I have more fun grinding Pokemon in the older games. You know, the ones where you can only have a maximum of 99 items in your pouch? <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Oh, this is a shocker. Neon Genesis Evangelion. One of the worst names for an anime because I can barely say it. <laughs> Yes, and if these first four items aren't going to get us a ton of fan hate, this one is. Because the following is strong and loyal and is going to tear us to shreds. Uh, why don't you go first? <laughs> Thank you for throwing me to the wolves, Lux. Thank you. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be following right after you. Probably with bacon strapped to me. Good point. Okay, the show is dark. Obviously, you can see we're picking on a lot of dark things here. Not that we don't watch dark storylines. Oh, I watched uh, lots of dark stuff. I can't listen to anyone right now unless you consider Serial Experiment Lane, which I love to be really dark, which it is. <laughs> so it's not just the darkness. It's the fan abuse. Severe, traumatic fan abuse. Also, it is the series that will never die. It's like Dragon Ball Z. They just keep having different iterations. <laughs> and none of them are any better than the other versions. Because <laughs> uh, I understand, from what I understand, the movies aren't even doing anything to clear up some of the, okay, I don't get it. Like, there's this great video that someone put together that's basically the main character going, okay, this is over, right? What exactly happened? Can, can someone explain that to me? Everyone died, right? I don't get it. <laughs> no, and it's just, it's painful. And I like giant mech stories. I admit mm -hmm. I got a little burned out for a while because the U.S. imported a few too many at once. But overall, I like giant mech stories. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with the fact of the main character being an emo wimp. I can deal with that. But when you just pile on abuse after abuse and give no real resolution to the, your storyline. And we're okay with no resolution and confusing storylines. I mean, we both enjoy Big O. Yeah, but at least in Big O you had a little bit more sense of what was going on. Mm-hmm, and you had enjoyable characters that you really wanted to like, and not main characters who are like, is he whining all the time? Did he just go nuts? I don't get it. 
Oh wait, he has an abusive father. I think. He could just be insane. Which would still make him abusive, but... Okay. <laughs> but in a totally different way. And then... Okay, seriously, what's with all the Ray clones? <laughs> Thanks for listening. We hope you've enjoyed this list of five popular things we just don't get. Is something you love on this list? Put something in the comments to help us understand. Please don't kill us. We're not saying it's bad. We just don't get it. If you want to see more of my art, you can find it on DeviantArt and Tumblr. If you want to keep up to date with this podcast and get other tidbits, you can follow us on Tumblr as well. If you really like our podcast, please consider subscribing. If you would like some art of your own, I am currently open for commissions. All links in the description. And we're live. Yep. Ish. This is pre-recorded. Mm-hmm. Ah. Why are you tilting? There you go. It was the list. It was like going sideways. I'm <laughs> because it hates you. It's going, why don't you like us? <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm-hmm.